so in the last session we have studied duis rule 2 that is whenever i am having integration limits are some functions of parameter here the parameter is x in that case i am going to apply rule 2 if these two are constants then i am going to apply rule 1 okay now the question is if given f of x is this i need to prove this differential equation now to prove this differential equation firstly we will try to figure out cubic derivative for that using rule 2 first of all find out first order derivative then again apply rule 2 to find out second order derivative and then again apply rule 2 to get third order derivative okay so let's start with f of x this is equal to integral 0 to x x minus t square g of t dt so by rule 2 if we differentiate with respect to x to f of x this is integral 0 to x daba by daba x of x minus t whole square into g of t dt now note that with respect to x is t is constant plus the next term is evaluating this function at t is equal to x multiplied by derivative of x with respect to x so evaluating function at t equal to x so x minus x whole square into g of x into derivative of upper limit with respect to x minus evaluating this function at x is t is equal to 0 so this is x minus 0 whole square into g of 0 and into derivative of 0 with respect to x so this is t by dx of 0 right so let's simplify this little bit so this is 0 to x derivative of this with respect to x so t term is just a constant so g of t as it is multiplied by derivative of this is 2 into x minus t dt plus x minus x is anyway 0 so this term is 0 and derivative of 0 is also 0 so this term is again 0 so both terms are 0 here so what we have df by dx this is equal to integral 0 to x 2 outside g of t into x minus t dt right now this is just a first order to find out second order again apply rule 2 this is d2f by dx square equal to 2 times again applying rule 2 so this is 2 times multiplied by everything 0 to x so double by double x of g of t into x minus t dt plus evaluating function at t equal to x so when i am substituting here t equal to x so this is x minus x into g of x and into derivative of x with respect to x minus substituting t is equal to 0 so this is g of 0 into x minus 0 into derivative of 0 with respect to x let's simplify this further this is equal to 2 times 0 to x derivative of this with respect to x so g of t is constant derivative is just 1 so just dt plus this term is 0 again and this term is also 0. 
so let's move forward and this is just 2 times 0 to x g of t dt right and one more derivative I need to figure out here that is cubic derivative what is cubic derivative again applying root 2 so I am getting cubic derivative this 2 as it is 0 to x daba by daba x of g of t dt plus evaluating this function at x so that is g of x into derivative of x with respect to x derivative of upper limit minus evaluating at lower limit into derivative of lower limit so that is g of 0 into derivative of lower limit is 0 so clearly since this contains t this derivative is going to be 0 so this integration I am considering 0 here I can put a bracket here right and clearly this derivative is 1 so this is just 2 times gx and this term is 0 so what we got cubic derivative is equal to 2 times gx so this is nothing but d cube f by dx square minus 2 times gx is equal to 0 and this is the required thing okay so what we did in this type of questions just observe what is the highest order derivative differentiate that many times to give an integral and apply a rule to subsequently so that you will get automatically the required equation okay